Good morning, Christian friends. This is the Plumb Line. And today's scripture will be coming from Isaiah 53, 4, and 5. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did even esteem him stricken, smitten of God. And afflicted, but he was wounded for our transgressions, and he was bruised for our inequities. The chastisement of peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Let us pray. Dear Lord of Heavenly Father, we thank you, Father for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Father. We thank you, Father, for you raising him, Father, to wherein that he knew what he had to do, his job, your plan of redemption, to come and save the world for our uh, debt that we owed. We thank you, Father, for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who walk this earth tried it as a human uh, knowing his goal father was to redeem us for a, a ransom that he paid on the cross a ransom that he paid in full a ransom uh, a price a debt that he that he paid that cleared the books of our life, of our tree of life, the Lamb Book of Life, that cleared us, gave us clemency. The slate was clean, was wiped clean. All the work that, he, that our Lord and Savior Jesus did on the cross, the balance was paid in full, and we thank you. Amen. Dear Lord of Heaven, Father, we come to you, Father, right now, Father, in this, the plumb line. We've already talked about the journey that baby Jesus took, him and Mary, to be censored. We talked about Jesus Christ, refugee in this Yule tide and holiday season. But now we want to talk about Jesus the man, the Messiah, the one and only, the one that God sent for us. And it takes me all the way back to my college days at Fairville State University, majoring in business administration. In, in my accounting class of debiting and crediting, the balance sheet had to equal out. The balance sheet had to have a zero balance. Any type of savage value any type of depreciation, any type of uh, assets and liabilities for the balance sheet to have to be uh, uh, equal. The balance sheet had to have a zero balance. The debit and credits had to match out and even out to wherein that the balance sheet was clear divested of all debts, all uh, accounts receivable, had equal uh, out uh, with accounts payable, all long-term liabilities and short-term liabilities had been cleared by uh, short-term uh, assets short-term profits that had come through and cleaned and paid all the debts 
full. Zero balance. Balance sheets clear. The, the credits had equal out the debits. And that's what Jesus Christ did for us. He was the debit man. He paid our balance. He paid the, uh, the, the, the price as a ransom. It was paid. He washed all our sins away. Glory, hallelujah. He paid our debt in full. We got a zero balance, Christian friends. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who hung on Calvary, Galgotha Hill. They ransomed his clothes out for lots. The thunder rolled and the earth quaked. But Jesus Christ on that cross never said a mumbling word. Jesus Christ on that cross nailed all of our sins to the cross. My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, uh, the veil was split so that we could have freedom knowing that all the sins were paid and the presence of God, the presence of the Lord came right in. And Jesus paid our debt in full. They stretched him wide and they hung him high. But my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ hung for the whole of world to see that all our debt, all our sin, all our transgressions and iniquities, for he was wounded for our transgressions and he was bruised for our iniquities, for the chastisement of our sin and by his the peace of our sins and by his stripes we are healed glory hallelujah we thank you jesus we thank you jesus for being that debit we thank you jesus for clearing all our credits we thank you, Jesus, for wiping our balance sheet clean, where we won't have to look over our shoulder in sin, where we won't have to bear that cross. Jesus alone. Must Jesus bear that cross alone and all the world go free? No, there's a cross for everyone, but I know there's a cross for me. But I thank you, Jesus, for wiping the, the balance sheet clean. I thank you, Jesus, for paying the price, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you, Jesus, for clemency. We thank you for freedom. We thank you for paying the ransom. We thank you for paying that debt. Jesus Christ, we thank you for Christ's sakes. We love you. This is the Plum Line wishing everybody a happy new year. And don't worry about it because Jesus Christ paid the ransom, paid the debt. He wiped our slate clean. Glory, hallelujah, amen.